I've been working on takedowns with the Meow Brothers recently, and their jits inspired me to think a little differently. No matter where they're at, their goal is to always take the back. So, what if we apply the same approach to the takedown game? Even if you're not a master back taker, thinking back first can open up a world of offense. And for self-defense especially, always looking to take the back first is a good idea for three reasons. One, you, you're in a very powerful control position. Two, you don't have to leave your feet to get there. And three, you can put your attacker in between yourself and his buddies. Always a good idea. With this in mind, let's take a look at three ways to win the battle for the back. For all of these, I start with my opponent posting or reaching for my shoulder, but the moves also work great if he tries to control my wrist or grab my head. The first option we look at is the arm drag. One thing you have to realize about the arm drag is it's a 50-50 position. So one of the most important keys to success with it is you have to win the initiative. To do that, we're gonna step hard to the corner and pull hard on my opponent's arm at the same time. It's never one or the other, it's gotta be both. And finally, what's really effective is the more you can get your opponent to bend over and get your shoulder on top of his, the more likely you are to win. All right, our second option is the Russian. This is a variation of two-on-one arm control and it's popular for the obvious reason that the Russian wrestling team uses this move all the time and they're very effective with it. So what are our keys to success? The Russian is the most controlling of the three moves, and so you really should channel your inner boa constrictor. Then you're halfway there. Focus on controlling your opponent's arm and shoulder. A lot of my students, when they're first learning this move, try to crank the elbow, and this is an amateur mistake. It creates too much space and it rarely does damage. Just lets my opponent get away. Also, be sure not to skip to grabbing the hip right away. Slowly work up the arm first. That's gonna ensure that you have that optimal control. Third option is the underhook. Here we have to be a little bit more explosive than we other with the other two. It's because we're covering more distance and we're fighting through our opponent's strength. This move though is especially effective if your opponent does not apply a proper wizard. So if I feel a loose wizard, I often think back take whenever I have the underhook. Now be sure that the underhooking arm punches the wall behind you and the other arm will windmills to your opponent's far pocket at the same time. So underhooking arm punches, other arm windmills. Hope you like these slick back takes. One of my athletes recently told me he's been using the Russian effectively in Muay Thai clinch fight, which I thought was really cool, and I didn't expect to hear that. I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you've used one of my techniques in training or competition, or found a way to make it work well for you.